Hey, what's going on? This is Chip with WebVideoChefs.com. A lot of us use DSLR cameras, and this is a 70 footage we took the other day. And um, I want to show you how to match it up and how to do automatic synchronization. So we're going to go here, and um, one thing we used in Final Cut Pro 7 was Pluralize. And that was a very, very good software for all of us. Um, um, the guy from Singular Software, I think his name is Bruce Sharp. And um, he has other products out, so I'm quite sure he won't go out of business, but um, it was a very good software. So anyway, let's get right to Final Cut Pro 10, and let's see what we have. Um, a, f a camera guy, a friend of mine, he always tells me how to do a low-tech version of how to match clips up. And one of the low-tech versions we use is... Recording. Okay, this audio file 406. Okay, so I just yell out on the directing audio file 406, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, my talent here, and then I'm going to hit Command, and then I'm going to click over to 406 over there. Then I'm going to hit control or I'm using a MacBook Pro two fingers and I'm going to hit synchronize clips. Then it's going to give me this clip right here. But then it still the sounds. DMV area. And is it, as it gets. Well, let's see what he says. Recording. Hi, this is Fabian Moore. Okay, it still sounds a little janky here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this on the timeline. So I'll put that on the timeline. A shift, command shift to uh, listen to it. Um, let's get rid of that gap right there. Just delete the gap. That shows me right here that I'm at the beginning of my clip. Wait, wait, ah, crazy okay. face. No problem. One more time. Take okay, so this is all his clips. All right. Okay. Now, I, I don't, I still this hear, that hear the camera audio from the 17. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to right click on here and we're going to have detach audio. Okay, once I detach audio, I'm going to right click on here again and then break apart clip items. That's what I do. And then I see that it matched it up right here. Fabian 3 and then my clip right here. So what I'm going to do, one of two things. I can minimize this, make this very low. Oops, let's get it right here. And just take it like that. As I guess we stop by. All right. Here we go. Hi, this is Fabian Morrison with Praise Vision. Okay, so since these clips are together, so I can actually go here, go here again, and then I can actually um, break apart clip items again, okay? Because I have model here, A1, A2. And then what I do is I'm just going to click on this one. Actually, let me get off here. And then I'm going to hit cut, and I'm going to hit control X cut. So... Uh, Hi, this is Fabian Moore. Then I want to adjust his audio. He peaks a little bit here. So I can always go back and adjust it with, and with keyframes and things like that. I'm not going to get into that now. So this is a brief tutorial on how to do the synchronized clips. But I go in there and take it a step further. After it synchronizes the clips from the DSLR, I just adjust it. So hopefully that helps you out a lot. Um, you bring it down, then you can right-click, and then you can break apart the clip items. Take care. And uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Tweet us at Web Video Chefs or ask at webvideochefs.com.